Welcome to this video on output and printing to the screen in Python. Python 3 specifically. So output is simply what comes out of a program. And we, we use this or we see this in practice every single day. For instance, when you search for something in Facebook, you have results which are output on the screen. Or when you're playing a game, you have output, which is the game itself, the background or text which is printed on the screen. All programs that we looked at are comprised of input, processing and output. Input is what goes in and output is what comes out. In this session there's so much to learn but we're going to start with getting some really simple output and learning how to print to the screen. Now when we say print we don't actually mean printing it to a printer we actually mean just simply outputting something like text and getting it to display on the screen. So if you wrote print hello world, it would put hello world, the text, uh, and that happens to be many people's first program on the screen. So let's have a look. If I type hello world and press play, sure it's on level one over there. Don't want a unnecessary indent. It should just print hello world to the screen. I could type something else like that and it prints both these things to the screen. Notice everything that you want to print is in double speech marks over there, so quotation marks. And also note that you, the syntax does matter. You can't have print. It's going to be lowercase print. So this is pretty simple. I'm just printing lots and lots of things to the screen. Now it's good practice, as we looked at, to have a function. It helps us organize our code and to have everything inside this function. So we can have the main function, call the function here, and here. I'm going to write main menu. Can make the main menu heading a little bit pretty. And you can see it's printed to the screen main menu. Now what if I wanted to write lots and lots of text inside a main menu such as press 1 to play the game, print, press 2 to view scores and so on. This could get quite long. There's an easier way and an easier command, and that is simply to, to write print, open brackets, and use three speech marks, triple quotations, in a row. And then right at the bottom, I'm going to end with three speech marks, triple quotation. Now, the beauty of this is that inside this, I can write anything I like. And anything I write inside these speech marks and these brackets will be printed to the screen. Note, you can't just write anything to the screen. If, it, if I just did that, it would come up with an error. It has to be within a print command. So here I could say press 1 to play, press 2 to view scores, press 3 to uh, save scores, press for to quit. And I've created a little main menu. I can do anything I like. I could add some stars. I could add some other designs in at the bottom there. And when I press play, it has created for me the main menu. So that's quite useful for you to remember. Another thing to remember is that you can also print variables. So if I gave the variable x the value 3, I could simply say print x. I could just say print 3, which would print 3 to the screen. But if I said print x, it would print the variable x. In exactly the same way, I could have a variable which stored a name. And I could print the name, Ruth. More interestingly, if we had a name such as Joe, and I wanted to print a welcome message and the variable name, 
I could do it like so. I could say, welcome, nice to meet you, which is our traditional printing. I've just done a, a simple print in speech marks. But then you use what's called a plus, which is a, it's going to concatenate. It's a big word for just joining together two strings. So if I write plus and I write the name of the variable, and we know that Joe is contained in the variable, welcome, nice to meet you, Joe. Now this is not very pretty, or it's not formatted correctly, because there should be a space there. You can solve that by simply having a space in, in the text that you are writing in the print command. So welcome, nice to meet you, Joe. These are some of the basics of printing. There's one last thing which you could note, and that is if you wanted a, a blank line, at the moment we just have two lines, one after the other, but if you wanted a blank line, you could just do that, which would give you a space. That's all for now.